Hey everybody, wanted to intro the next video real quick. Uh, unfortunately, the quality is not the greatest, and I don't normally intro my videos, but I uh, wanted everybody to see what was going on um, in this next video. It's kind of weird, stumbled upon it, went down to Indianapolis, went to Gen Con, uh, walked outside to get something to eat on Saturday at about 12, 1230, and uh, happened to run into uh, a lady, her service dog, a staff coordinator and three Indianapolis PD uh, staff. So um, went outside, kind of heard and saw what was going on, and I decided to pull out my camera and start videotaping. Um, as you'll see in the video, and, and some of it's not clear, again, I apologize for the quality, but you'll see that uh, the lady in question with her service dog, Logan, and I had seen Logan before in other, other venues, uh, C2E2 in Chicago specifically, but you'll see that this uh, lady was actually just trying to get some food and uh, by the food trucks outside. And um, the event worker, not the police, but the event worker would not allow the service dog through through uh, where everybody else was eating and, and getting their food. Um, and actually demanded that the service, or I'm sorry, that the Navy vet provide proof of disability. And so uh, I wanted to show you guys what was going on. Um, and I also want to do a shout out to uh, Sergeant uh, Dixon. Did a great job, very professional. Uh, Indianapolis PD down there. They were friendly, uh, nice, treated everybody like other human beings. So uh, bravo to them. Usually get a lot of videos about ba bad cops. Um, this is actually a video about a, a good one. So um, I appreciate it and uh, and uh, hope you like it. <laughs> I guess they're not letting this Navy vet in with our service dog. Why would I go to the VA if I wasn't disabled? Why wouldn't I go? They don't. They won't let the dog in. You won't let the dog in. We'll let the dog in. We'll just go down that way, or just go around the uh, sidewalk. We're not right in front of the trucks through the line. It's a service dog, isn't it? That's fantastic. It's a federal law. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Absolutely. You can't stop somebody. It's a federal law. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. What was your name, officer? Sergeant Dixon. Sergeant Dixon. I appreciate it. Usually you get a lot of, you know, you get some folks that don't understand things. She was getting obviously more distraught as, as it went on. I mean, it didn't help anybody. I should say it there prior, prior, prior to going to get the manager. You're absolutely right, sir. Just so we keep it down. I appreciate it, Sergeant. But yeah, you can't you can supersede your federal law unless you want to pay about $20 million. Yeah. Well, <laughs> imagine the civil lawsuit that can go on and cost the city of Indianapolis even more oh, if you guys God. gave it an instruction not to. Yeah, it's a social sure. to out loud. And no, no offense. The dog wasn't doing anything wrong, man. You can't do that. No. No. Well, I appreciate it very much. I, I do. Have a great day. Be blessed. Hey, what was your name? I'm sorry. I'm Dave. Dave, and, and you work for uh, for the coordination here. You you don't work for the. Uh, I'm a private contractor. You're with what company? Uh, CSC. CSC. All right. All right. Appreciate it. All right.